And there's a place in Easley where you can experience the thrill of rock climbing in a climate-controlled indoor space. Ava Bratz is checking out Project Rock for us. Uh, she was up really high back down on the ground now. Ava, how's it going? Yeah, we're both on the on the ground now. We're going to leave the climbing to the actual professionals. And one of the Project Rock mantras is bringing the outdoors indoors. And you've done an incredible job of that Cecil Foster program. Manager joins us today. Thank you so much for having us inside. And this place is just absolutely incredible, especially for a first timer. Tell me, what do these walls represent? So all of our walls are different crags or climbing locations located from around the country. So everything from West Coast, Middle America to East Coast. Yeah. From Utah, West Virginia, California, you can really climb things that look like it because the material is similar to that that you would climb. Yes, yes. We used like a concrete composite. We had a group called Rad Rocks come in, and they came and molded and shaped all of our walls for us. Yeah. And we've got some guys and gals. They are climbing right now. What are some do's and don'ts for maybe a first-timer? So do's and don'ts. Number one, uh, the blair is the most important person, so we always want to make sure our blair is safe and they're paying attention. Um, also, we want to make sure that we, if I'm a spectator, I'm never walking in between my blair on mm -hmm. the ground and my climber on the wall. Mm -hmm. Our biggest thing is always doing safety. So we're always going to check each other and do a partner check. So my blair is going to check the climber's knot. The climber's going to check the blair's uh, blade device and make sure all that is set up correctly. So I got gotcha. yeah. And all ages have been doing this for many, many uh, years. But for this location, seven months, you've been fully operating. Yeah. And the tallest wall, the 84-foot one, mother yeah. of all things, is over there. A five-year-old did it? Yes, we've had five-year-old all the way to 65-year-old grandmothers. <laughs> so, yeah. So the age range is wide open. And you guys are so, so big on building confidence before you maybe take on the tallest one. So talk to me about how you do that. Yeah, so how we do that is our guides. We're going to try to put you on a route that is going to be something easy, something that we know you're going to be able to get up, that can help build that confidence. And then as you decide to challenge yourself, you can try routes that are more challenging. Yeah. And you have a very inclusive environment. you got all sorts of climbers in here this morning. So how do you really make sure they're mentally ready for that next climb? Well, honestly, it's just going to come by uh, what we see them do on their first several climbs they do. And then we love, we're very encouraging in the sense of uh, we're always going to help encourage you along. So just like when you were on the wall, you know, we're, it's a pretty open community. You're never going to hear anybody talking trash or talking <laughs> down to you. So we're always going to try to encourage you just to do your best and keep trying. I got you. So yeah. leave the trash talk at home if you're going to go rock climbing. Trash talk at home. Yeah. Good to know. And this is also a pretty cool training ground. There's an Olympic wall. Yeah, we have a speed, a, uh, basically we have an Olympic speed wall, which you'd see in the Olympics. So it's basically a model that you'd see that they use in that. And that is basically for speed climbing. And the fastest we've seen in the world for that is around 4.8 seconds, wow. 5 seconds. So, yeah. Unbelievable. Because, I mean, if you have an interest in climbing, if you learn here, you can really take it outdoors. So where are some places around, honestly, the South Carolina area that you would suggest? Yeah, so in South Carolina, there's a little place called Big Rock out in Pickens. You can do that. Uh, you can also climb Table Rock now uh, in South Carolina, certain parts, and, uh, and with the recommendation of the state park in those different areas. Also, Crowders Mountain, North Carolina, which is pretty close to us as well. Fantastic. All right, well, I'm going to get some more tips from these climbers, see what some of their, uh, I don't know, insider insight is, um, and we're going to come back here with Cecil. It's incredible uh, how, how huge it is in there, Ava. We had no idea. We look forward to seeing your next, uh, next round of action. We'll see you soon.